Eastern Idaho farmers aren't letting the snow or threat of a nationwide boycott against their products stop the battle against millions of voracious jackrabbits. The farmers and city folk alike are gathering every couple of days to hold what they like to call old-fashioned rabbit roundups. Rabbit drivers on foot, horseback, and vehicles spread out over a vast area, yelling and swinging clubs, hurting the rabbits into a funnel-shaped pen where they're clubbed to death. Grizzly scenes like this have raised a nationwide outcry against the farmers. But the farmers claim the jackrabbits, at the peak of a 10-year breeding cycle, have destroyed millions of dollars in farm crops and are now destroying livestock feed. Why? They just eat us out of house and home. If we didn't fight them, they'd just, they'd just starve my stock to death. That's what... The damage the rabbits do is evident looking at these haystacks. The hay they don't eat is contaminated by their defecation, and livestock won't eat it. Farmers say they're more than willing to let animal welfare groups come in and help them find a better way to deal with the problem. In the meantime, in an effort to expand their extermination efforts, farmers are now offering a bounty of eight cents a head for rabbit carcasses. The carcasses will be shipped to mink farms as food. Threats of a nationwide boycott against Idaho farm products aren't about to stop the roundups. They're expected to continue through spring, and farmers are hoping to eliminate more than a million jackrabbits. From Idaho Falls, Idaho, I'm Gene Higginson for Independent Network News.